Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about control copy techniques. I'm going to give you some tips on copy and paste for your Microsoft Access form controls. Today's question comes from Gary in Brunswick, Ohio, one of my gold members. Gary posted this in the forum on my website yesterday. He said, something that's been driving me nuts is why my 2021 version of Access behaves differently from what I see in your videos. When I copy or cut a control, then paste it onto my form, the control gets pasted into the upper left corner of the form. When you do it, it gets pasted onto the form at the location of your mouse cursor. Is this some kind of Access user setting, or does version 2021 simply act differently? No, Gary, they really haven't changed the way that copy and paste works in Access Forms in many, many years, but the technique in which you do it is very subtle. Watch this. Okay, here I am in Form Design View. Now, if I click on a control, let's say this country text box, right, and I copy it, and then I click anywhere else. Now, I've deselected that box, right? If I hit Paste, Control-V, it pastes in the upper left corner, of the form because access doesn't know where I want to put it. So it puts it there. If I hit paste again, I get another one right below it. Okay. Let me undo that. Control Z, control Z. Now, this time, if I click on it and leave it selected, don't click off of it, right? Don't deselect it. Now copy and paste it. Control C, control V. And look, it goes right there. It goes under the form field that you had selected. If I paste again, it keeps going under that spot. See that? Okay, it goes below the previously selected control. Now let me undo that again. Notice the little gap there between those, right? Undo, undo, undo. Now watch this. If I copy this and then paste it once and then just slide this up just a little tiny bit, that one little grid line difference there. Leave it again. Don't unselect it. And now paste, 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 paste. See that? Now they're spaced out exactly like that. Okay, undo it again. All right, watch this. Copy, paste, slide it right up next to it, right underneath it like that so they're touching, and then paste, paste, paste. See, Access remembers how far away from the previous control you pasted it, and it leaves that same gap there. Okay? All right, let me undo that. Same thing if you're working with multiple controls. Select these two, copy, paste, and they go right below them. See? Undo. And this is one of those topics that's been on my list to make a video about forever because I get asked this question all the time. And this just so happens to be a situation where Gary actually already replied to my answer post in the forums before I finished the video. And I already got my thank you for it. So there you go. Uh, you're very welcome, Gary. Hope this helps you save some time when you're making your forms. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. You see, they're not all super long. Some people complain because my fast tips aren't fast. They're a half an hour long. A lot of people like them long. I just go with however long I got to go to teach you what I'm going to teach you. Tomorrow's tech help video, though, is going to be a long one. So get ready for that and bring your popcorn. All right. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry. These free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.